Good evening, it's time for another video demonstration of an application by Unstable Apps. We have an app now tonight that we're going to show you that's been on the market for just a couple days now. This application is a little unique in that it only supports the Droid X and the Droid 2. Um, and uh, you do need to be rooted for this app. But the app is the DXD2 Overclocker. And uh, this gives you the ability to quickly and easily overclock your Droid X or your Droid 2 similar to what you might have been doing uh, back with your Droid 1 or, uh, or other uh, unlocked phones. So you open the app up and the first thing that you come to is this nice little menu where you can start overclocking, find out what is overclocking, or find out about the app. And the, the two um, lower options are just kind of walls of text where they explain a little bit to you about what exactly you're getting yourself into here. But of course what we care about is the option to start overclocking. When you first come in, you can see you get some uh, pretty good information right off the bat. You get the minimum speed your CPU is set to run at, the current speed your CPU is running at, and you can see we're pretty well just idled right now, so it's going to be at the, at the minimum speed. And then the maximum speed, so right now we're at stock, 300 megahertz up to 1 gigahertz, and we have a battery temperature of about 34 Celsius right now. Um, now here you have the option to pick your different presets, so we'll get to that in a second. Ability to apply the settings, of course. Start a stress test, which is a great way to check and see if your phone is actually happy with your overclocking settings, because it's important to realize that each phone is different. One phone might only be able to run at one gigahertz, while the person next to you could crank it all the way up to 1.5 or 1.6 gigahertz. Um, unfortunately, there's really no way of knowing without trying what your phone's going to be capable of. Uh, then we have the option to set these values on boot, so you can just click that and then whatever your settings are will apply automatically without having to open the app. And then another special setting to delay those settings from being set for 90 seconds. What this does is it allows you, in case something goes wrong and your phone isn't happy with those settings, um, you have 90 seconds to get in here, go to your presets, pick stock, and uh, and make sure you're going to be okay. So that's, that's quite a nice setting if you're going to set the values on boot. And then down here you have uh, your current uh, presets that you've selected, what the actual settings it's going to apply are, the uh, the maximum voltage and speed, and then the different slots. So you can see the stock one is 300 megahertz, 600 megahertz, 800 megahertz, and 1 gigahertz. So uh, let's actually do something. You can see the presets are 100% uh, stock, exactly as your phone came from Motorola, and then um, stock voltages, but with a 100 megahertz uh, increase at each step into 1.1 gigahertz. Low voltage 1 gigahertz for uh, no speed increase, but a little battery savings. And then a couple ba um, presets that kind of move you all the way up to 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, I'm going to pick 1.2. And uh, we're going to hit apply settings. You can see I've already granted the app root privileges, so we're good to go there. Our minimum's been bumped up to 400 now, and it's still sitting there at 400. And our max is all the way up to 1.2 gigahertz. And you can see our steppings have changed along the way from 400, 700 gigahertz and 1.2. And this is where the stress test becomes useful. Uh, the stress test is now running. Um, it's important to note that it does keep running. If we leave the app, the stress test is going to keep running. And it is just pounding away at the CPU right now is what it's doing. Um, trying to get it to break. Um, trying to get the app to force close or the phone to reboot or freeze. To see if your phone is happy with these settings. Uh, personally, I like to let the stress test run for one, maybe two minutes and uh, really get a feel for the fact that the phone is happy when it is just being hammered. And we'll go ahead and stop it. You can see down here, let's you know it's over, and then it'll tell you how long it ran for. So we ran it for almost 33 seconds there. Uh, but you can do that to make sure your phone is happy with the preset that you've selected. Now, uh, let's say you don't, you know, the preset you've selected, there's something you just want a little bit different. We can hit menu here. And uh, we get the option to manage our presets, find more apps. I know you can't probably see that very well on the camera. Uh, and open the info menu, menu. So to go back to that first menu, um, we want to manage our presets. And so we can come in here and we can create a preset based on. And so we can pick any of the presets that currently exist. And so um, let's say that we have the that 1.2 gigahertz one that we have. And we're going to begin creating. We just come in here and um, we give the preset a name. See if I can do this while <laughs> looking through the camera. So a name, uh, the max V cell, the max clock rate, um, and uh, oh, let's get the, that out of the way. Um, you know, this, the settings for slot one, two, three, and four, 
and um, so we could change these to whatever we want. Maybe uh, maybe our phone isn't perfectly happy with the stock 1.2, and we want to up the voltage a little bit. Let's uh, let's use that as our test scenario. So we're gonna go from 6.4 to 6.6, six, uh, but still just 1.2 gigahertz and uh, and 6.6, six, and boom, create the preset. And then you also down here get the option to delete a preset, so you can see all of our presets. And now we have our new test one right down there. And uh, I'll show you how deleting one works. Let's say I pick the 1.451, one. delete it, and it's like, are you sure? Yes, we are. And go back to our menu. So now when we come here, we can see we have all of our stock ones down to 1.4, but 1.45 is gone, and we now have our test one, which we can select, and it shows us what those settings would be. Um, and in this case, I'm I'm not going to apply it because there's no reason for me to up the voltage. Uh, my phone's perfectly happy with the 1.2 preset. Um, and there you go. So you can manage your own presets, uh, delete presets that just are of no value to you whatsoever. Again, set on boot and then delay the setting on boot or not delay the setting on boot. I, again, I personally recommend that you leave that on. Um, again, the stress test is just a fantastic way to make sure your phone is happy with those settings. And it couldn't be much easier. That, that's all it takes. Uh, again, so if you have a Droid X or a Droid 2 uh, and you are rooted, and you're looking for a quick and easy way to gain some additional performance out of your phone, there's nothing better than DX D2 Overclocker from Unstable Apps. Thanks.